Hi learning friends! Today we're gonna talk about amphibians. Amphibians are a class of cold-blooded vertebrates made up of frogs, toads, salamanders, newts, and caecilians. All amphibians spend part of their lives in water and part on land, which is how they earned their name, amphibian. It comes from a Greek word meaning double life. Amphibians cover over 8,000 different species across the globe, but about 90% of them are frogs. Amphibians are found everywhere in the world except in the Antarctic region. Amphibian Characteristics External Egg Fertilization Grows four legs as an adult. Primitive lungs. Carnivorous appetite. Vertebrates. Every single amphibian, regardless of its small beginnings, has a backbone. Life cycle. Most amphibians lay eggs, but some species give birth to live young. The life cycle of most amphibians is divided into two phases. In the first phase, the amphibian lives in the water in an immature form called the larva. In the second phase, the larva develops into the adult form. In most species, the animal loses its gills and develops lungs. However, some species do not have separate larva and adult forms. They are born in the same form as adults, only smaller. Fertilization and Development Fertilization is mostly external. Life history often includes an aquatic larva. Amphibians have evolved from lung-breathing, lobe-find, bony fishes. Amphibian Classification Anura Apoda and Eurodela. Anora, also called Salientia. They are the most diverse group of amphibians with more than 4,500 species known. The frogs and toads of the order Anora have short, tailless bodies, big mouths, and flat heads with long muscular hind limbs. Anora examples African bullfrog. The African bullfrog is a large frog found in southern Africa. It lives in a variety of habitats, including savannas, shrublands, marshes, and farmland. Cane toad. The cane toad is native to Central and South America. Large glands behind the cane toad's eyes produce powerful toxins. Eating a cane toad can be fatal for a native animal. Apoda. The class Apoda comprises of limbless amphibians. They are also called Gymnophiona. The limbless amphibians are also referred as Sicilians. The group is known as Sicilians because of the word Sacus. In Latin, it means sightless or blind. Sicilians are most closely related to salamanders. Sicilians look like worms or snakes. Apoda examples Yellow striped Sicilian Bidome Sicilian, also known as the Yellow Striped Sicilian, is an amphibian found in the rainforest of India's Western Ghats mountain range. Its body is brown with a yellow stripe running along each side. Taita African Sicilian The Taita African Sicilian is found in the forests of the Taita Hills region in southeast Kenya. It is living underground and feeding on earthworms and other invertebrates. Eurodela. Eurodela have the least specialized bodies out of all amphibians and appear lizard like. They have an elongated, slender, and stout body with well developed musculature and a tail. Salamanders and newts are included in Eurodela. Unlike frogs and toads, salamanders and newts keep their tails as adults. They also have a long body with short legs, and all their legs are about the same length. This is because they adapted walking and swimming rather than jumping. An unusual characteristic of salamanders is their ability to regenerate or regrow their legs that have been lost to predators. 
Eurodilla examples Algerian rib newt The Algerian rib newt is one of the relatively few salamanders found in Africa. Axolotl The axolotl is an aquatic salamander found in Mexico. Due to habitat loss, the species is now critically endangered in the wild. The axolotl does not undergo metamorphosis. It retains its gills and remains in the water even as an adult. Frogs and toads are for jumping. Salamanders and newts may walk or swim. Sicilians live in the water or soil and are the only amphibians without legs. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, learning friends. See you again on our next Science Facts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.